This video will demonstrate how to install Access Portal. Before we start, ensure you have a PC or server that fulfills the minimum system requirements for installing Access Portal. Here's a summary to help you out. The Access Portal software can be downloaded from Impro Technologies website under Downloads. Select Access Portal. Since the same installation procedure would be used for Access Portal Basic, Pro and Enterprise, the ISO can be downloaded from any one of these links. When the download is completed, browse to your Downloads folder. Open the Downloads folder. In Windows 8 or 10, you can simply mount an ISO as a drive so extraction is not necessary. If you are running Windows 7 or an older server OS, you will have to extract the files. Select the portal ISO file. Right click on the file, select mount. The ISO file is now mounted and ready for installation. Included on the disk is a readme file. The README file will show you how to install Portal, how to install client plugins, new features and enhancements, etc. In the Tools folder, you will find a folder called Morpho Toolbox. It includes the MBTB software, which you will use to configure your Morpho biometric readers. In the Dependencies folder, you will, for example, find the SQL Express Advanced Installation file, should you wish to install SQL manually. Run the Setup file to install Access Portal. It is important to install Access Portal as an administrator. Right-click on the Setup file and select Run as Administrator. For a standard install, accept the terms and conditions of the license agreement and click on install. To customize the install path for portal or to change the features that will be installed, select custom install options. If for some reason you wish to manually install and configure SQL Server 2012, a guideline is provided. Accept the terms and conditions of the license agreement. Click on install. The software is busy installing. When the Access Portal installation is complete, you can close this window. If you are running Access Portal Pro or Enterprise, you will have to license the software first before you launch the Access Portal base application. Refer to the video How to License Access Portal Pro or Enterprise to assist you with the licensing process. If you are not running Access Portal Pro or Enterprise, you can continue watching this video. Open the C drive to launch the Portal Base application. The Access Portal Base application can be launched from the BIN folder or the BIN64 folder. What is the difference between launching the Access Portal Base application from the BIN or BIN64 folders? The 64-bit version of the Java Runtime environment is being deployed for large enterprise sites. The 32-bit version of the Java Runtime environment is limited to 1 GB of RAM, which is efficient for most small to large sites. Please take note. Nitchin and Suprema OEM biometric terminals are not currently supported when running Access Portal under the 64-bit JRE. It is best practice to run the Access Portal base application as administrator. You can set this as the default so that you don't have to right click on the EXE every time you want to start up the base application. This is how you will set it as a default. Right click on the Portal EXE and select Properties. Select the Compatibility tab. Select Run this program as an administrator. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Double click the portal application to launch the portal base application. 
The spinning icon gives you an indication that the Access Portal Base application is starting up. The Portal Base application is now open. On the home screen, it will give you an indication what software license you are running. For example, Portal Enterprise. The software version that is installed and it's now busy indexing the database. The console will provide more in-depth information on what is happening in the background. When the database is online, you can click on the link to open the UI to start configuring your site. We currently support Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and IE. Log into the browser with username SYS DBA and password master key. You can now continue with your site configuration.